Today on Powerhouse, we're going to be introducing you to a new type of lighting technology, LEDs. And with us is a lighting technology expert. This is Chad Bowman with the Midwest Energy Efficiency Alliance. Chad, let's start with the real basics. What is an LED? Well, an LED is a light emitting diode, which is a simple electronic component. It's based on semiconductor technology, and its job is really to just emit, emit light when electric current passes through it. And uh, this is not a new technology. It's been around for about 50 years or so, and if you've got a TV or a DVD player at home, you've probably already got some components that have some LED lights in them as indicator lights. But what we're here talking about today is kind of the next generation in LED lighting. This is uh, LED lighting that has advanced in terms of lifetime, in terms of color and uh, light quality to a point where it's becoming a practical replacement for a lot of general white light illumination applications. So when it comes to energy efficiency, I know that LEDs are good, but how good are they? They're very good and they're improving day by day, actually. Uh, the efficiency of, a, let's say, an incandescent light bulb like this uh, expressed in terms of how much light you get for the amount of wattage that's going into the bulb, this is about 15 lumens per watt, whereas the current LED products out on the market are somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 100 lumens per watt, and the theoretical limit is somewhere around 200. Wow. So we've come a long ways, and there's a long ways to go. And uh, you know, not only are the LEDs out there very energy efficient, they have extremely long lives. Uh, for example, this LED product, if you installed it in your home on the day that your child was born and ran it for about three hours each day, by the time you needed to replace it, your child had probably finished college already. That's so. a great analogy. I imagine you'd have to replace this one quite a few times. You would. You'd spend a lot of time on a chair or a step ladder, yeah, in that, in that time, for sure. So how uh, does that efficiency translate into dollars, then? Well, it, it pays to think of energy efficiency as an investment. Uh, sometimes you pay a premium up front for uh, an energy efficient appliance or product. And uh, some consumers have a problem with that. They look at the price tag and they think, how is this saving me money? It's more expensive. Well, over time, you realize uh, the difference in terms of the, the incremental costs through energy savings, lower utility bills. So as you use this product over time, you'll see uh, a return on that investment and then some. What are the other benefits of LEDs? Well, they have uh, an extremely long life, as I already mentioned. They don't heat up in the same way that uh, other lighting technologies do. So they Great can, safety feature, though. Yes, very safe and uh, can help you with your cooling costs in the summer, actually, because you get, you know, if you've got a, a very hot light bulb, that's not helping your AC costs at all. For our viewers' sake, let's compare the LED with other okay. types of lighting that we are familiar with. Okay. Well, this is probably the most familiar lighting you're, you're looking at here. This is the... Uh, Edison incandescent has been around for over a century now and it really hasn't changed much in that time. And there's some definite room for improvement with this product. Uh, about 90% of the energy that it consumes is dissipated as heat. And we don't want our light bulbs to act as heaters. We want them to do their job, which That's is a good point. create lighting. Yeah. Um, so there's actually some mandated federal efficiency standards that are coming about in the coming years, which will help to phase out really inefficient bulbs like this one. Uh, great next step uh, after the incandescent was the compact fluorescent light bulb. You may have seen this we before. We talk about that a lot on the yes. show. Well, I'm glad you do because mm -hmm. it's a, a real improvement. The, this CFL offers about a 75% reduction in energy consumption and it lasts about 10 times as long as an incandescent. It's not perfect technology. You know, it doesn't always work well with dimmable switches. Uh, sometimes it takes a moment to come up to full brightness. So there's room for improvement here as well. And I think that's what uh, has kind of motivated the move uh, or the, the eventual evolution toward LED lighting. This LED product, for example, is a prototype from Philips. It's and, really uh, funky looking. It is. It, it looks a bit like a hot cross bun. Mm -hmm. It's unusual, but it performs really well. This is actually a candidate for the U.S. Department of Energy's L Prize, which is a $20 million prize that's out there for any manufacturer who can create a practical replacement for the 60-watt incandescent. Wow, and being a prototype, well. you're not going to find this at your home improvement store today, but maybe down the road. Really, the next generation of LED lighting is always about six months down the road and you're always seeing products, new products and new, better performing products. Well, because it's so new and it's moving so rapidly, does it make sense for us to rush out and replace all of our lights in our homes with LEDs at this point? I, I, I would get your feet wet to begin with. Uh, I would start with a, a good entry technology like night lights, for example. Everyone's got a few in their home. They run for maybe eight or 12 hours a day. They're great LED replacements for those, or uh, LED holiday lights are kind of becoming the standard. With each passing year, we're seeing more and more LED holiday lights out there, and they offer up about a 90% energy savings over incandescent, so that's a no-brainer. We're starting to see some good LED products in recessed cans or cove lighting as well, and uh, you know, the, who knows what the future may hold. Well, let's say that I have a need for lighting, and I want to go get some LED holiday lights, mm -hmm. for example 
or a nightlight. Sure. How do I fight my way through all the clutter in the home improvement store to find a quality LED? It can be confusing, and I would say a good shortcut to a smart lighting purchasing decision is the Energy Star label. And that's the blue logo that you see on a lot of not only lighting uh, devices, but a lot of appliances that are out there. The Energy Star program was created by the Department of Energy and the Environmental Protec Protection Agency. And uh, what it essentially does is identify products out there that not, not only perform to a high standard, but are also highly energy efficient, so the best in their class. And there's another label, too, that's appearing on lighting. That's true, yeah, there's a new program from the, the Department of Energy called the Lighting Facts Label. And what this is meant to do is to uh, kind of help clear up a lot of the confusion we're seeing with multiple lighting technologies and standards out there. Uh, the Lighting Facts Label creates a standardized way of labeling uh, and information on LED, or sorry, any lighting packaging so that you're getting clear information on the amount of energy that's being consumed, the efficiency of the, the device, uh, the color of light you're getting out of it, and the expected lifetime. So it's a uh, very similar in some ways to the nutritional label that you see on food packaging. So it's a great kind of shortcut to cutting across different manufacturers, different vendors, and different products to get the same kind of apples to apples comparison that you'd like to see to make a smart purchasing decision. Sure, so you can really set things side by side. Exactly. It makes it easy. Yes, yes. So no more confusion of trying to compare this manufacturer with this manufacturer's presentation of information, which can be difficult. Well, this technology is moving rapidly. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's probably important to tell our viewers and remind our viewers that this is the beginning for LEDs, right? It sure is. Yeah, these are still kind of the early frontier days for LED technology. It's, uh, it's evolving very quickly. And so I, I would just say if anyone's interested to get their feet wet with uh, you know some good entry level LED technologies and to do some homework. Great. Thanks so much. This is great information, Chad. Thank you. Next time you're at the home improvement store looking for lighting for your home, check out the LEDs.